There's a lot wrong in the world and tinsel and red mugs is not part of that. <laughs> Good morning guys. We are getting ready to run out the door. I've been working on editing and it, it was, it's been fun to edit the beach footage the last few days and kind of just relive it. Mary and I were just kind of like, you want to go back to the beach? <laughs> but I we... vote yes on that. <laughs> it's good to be home too and sleep in our own bed and the, Although the, that bed was pretty good. The bed was good, but it was just so close to the ocean. Our sheets were damp all the time. And sandy. And sandy. Thanks, that. animals, both of you. We would take our sheets off and shake them out at night uh, before we got in bed, but it really didn't help because Harry would bring sand from the floor yeah. onto the bed. And... He'd be jogging around at night, <laughs> come in bed for snugs, and he probably did it like he does litter, where he comes in and he does yeah. pew. I'm going to throw this around for the humans. Okay, we got to run out the door. We're going to go uh, take some lunch to some friends. And I got to make sure phone wallet keys. I have my phone. I don't have my phone. <sighs> phone wallet keys. And blast off. Harry, see you later. Ollie, see you, man. I have to say it took enormous amounts of self-control and restraint this morning when I, he's probably so curious what I'm about to say. I am so curious. When I opened the cabinet to make coffee and get a mug out, oh. and I wanted to use our new Christmas mugs so bad, I even reached for it. You did? And I said, no, I will not. I will wait two weeks until November 1st, and then, we probably should have hit those from ourselves until November, but I <sighs> we, stuck them in the coffee cabinet. Yeah, yeah. We might need to do that. We might need to move them because they're so glossy. We, we and will delightful. wait till November 1st. We will. But November 1st, the floodgates are opening. Oh, the yeah. Christmas music is playing. The Christmas mugs. wonderland. <laughs> we just need some Christmas cheer. And, and some people think that's like just wrong, but you do you, boo. I'm just saying like, start There's a lot wrong in the world and tinsel and red mugs is not part of that. <laughs> just saying. Oh, yes. But it doesn't mean you have to decorate or yeah. drink out of Christmas mugs if you don't want to on November 1st. But we will be. We'll just say, your loss. <laughs> In our opinion, anyway. Okay, lunch has been delivered. It was really good being able to spend time with our friends. They're moving into a new place, and it was just fun to be able to. We we played the Phil Phillips home song for them because that's like our tradition that we do in all our new places. So it was really fun. And now we're headed home because we realized that we did not get the vlog finished uploading yet. So, you gotta do that thing. Yep. We do every day. Every single day. I decided that it's afternoon coffee, and I made brownies last night, so coffee and brownie time. And I went to open up the cabinet, and somehow, while it's like 90 degrees outside, the Christmas mugs aren't quite as enticing. So for now, I will stay strong and not use the Christmas mugs yet. Good work, honey. You can do it. <laughs> Come here, look at, look at this view. Oh yes, they're just so good. We found these at Big Lots if you didn't see that the other day. Okay, let's do this one. It used to say cup of happy, but that rubbed off. Well, I just cut the next piece and, well, whatever. It ended up that shape and that's fine. It doesn't matter what shape it is, right? It all tastes the same. You 
You want some tea and crumpets with me? Yes. I love crumpets. You should tell them our definition of crumpets. Crumpets is any snack that you eat with afternoon coffee or tea. <laughs> so it could be, it could be chips, it could be <laughs> brownie, it could be crackers. It's really anything. Usually we use it in relation to like cookies yeah. or some kind of desserty snack to have with coffee. I feel like I remember crumpets from Scotland and they were like English muffins that English were like muffins. really stale. Mm. Let's see what the definition is. Crumpets. Um, a crumpet is a small griddle bread made from an unsweetened batter of water, milk, flour, and yeast. Eaten in the UK, Canada, New Zealand, South Africa, and Australia. Hmm. Crumpets. And here in America, we call anything crumpets. <laughs> Brownies. Mmm. Mm. 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 Tastes good. Mmm. We undercooked the brownies last night, and I think that was a good decision. I approve. Nice and fudgy. Really good. Mmm. 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 Celebrate the little things, people. Celebrate the little things. something I've been wanting to show you guys. These are the fruits on the prickly pear. And yes, some of them still have eyes from when I stuck the googly guys on. And they are ripening. So when they are, I guess, entirely purple, we will pick them and eat them. I'm so excited. I can't believe it. Note to self, watch out because my knee just stabbed into that. Ow. So when our future child ends up crawling or being mobile, we will have to, we will joyfully get rid of prickly cacti or put them in kids safe zones. So this one that I just injured myself on will go somewhere else. And that tallest one in the corner, this bumpy guy, that has no spines or prickles on it. So that will be a good option <laughs> for the kid zones. But everybody else, you know, we'll probably give them to friends or something like that. Woo! Hey guys, I have been, well let me turn the lights on. And I've been out in the yard the majority after, of the afternoon and I gave the lawn, I feel like this is monumental. First haircut, first lawn mowing since I planted grass. So here's a little glimpse of the lawn. And uh, it's looking pretty good, you know? There, there's some spots uh, that have been struggling a little bit, but I put some a few treatments on the grass and I think in due time we're gonna have a nice green lawn I mean we have a green lawn look at this especially like right there it looks very green which is super fun and it was warm this afternoon so I'm sweaty tired oh one thing I did was I decided around check out around first of all well, I'm talking about all the things. First of all, look at the the grass growing beside the walkway. I, I really love that walkway. Mary said that's her favorite thing. 
But as you can see, I decided that the mulch under this holly tree was getting a little wide. So I, what I did was I raked it up and then you see like white around there. I planted grass seed around there so that we can grow grass closer up. I think just as time the mulch had washed out and it was just becoming this bigger and bigger circle around the tree. I was like, we could grow some more grass there. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, that's your lawn update for this evening. We are heating up some leftover meatloaf for dinner. Mary made meatloaf a couple days ago while I was gone at a meeting. And we had it for lunch, I think, that day. And now they, we had two plates of leftovers. And that's what we're having for dinner tonight. So thank you for dinner. Yep. After dinner, Mary said, I think we should go up and finish our puzzle. Which we did, and the animals joined us. Harry's chilling behind Mary on the bed. He gave up. He really wanted snugs, and we were really He would climb busy. up on each of us and, like, snuggle for a while, and then he'd give up, being like, you guys are focused on something else, so yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay down behind you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was right? so funny. Oh no! That was, that was, it wasn't the most quality puzzle. But AKA, I, like, maybe don't ever buy this brand because all the puzzle pieces are the same shape and you never know if it, you're in the right spot. Yeah, so like, but, you're, you're like working on like, why does this piece fit? It's because the other piece that you already put in doesn't actually go there. Yeah. But the design was fun. Because it was New England towns, Boston, Newport, Rhode Island. Cambridge, Massachusetts, some of our favorite places. Our old stomping ground. I had a dream last night that we were back in Grafton, the town we lived in most recently in Massachusetts. But it's so funny when people are like, oh, what part of Boston did you live in? And then I'll be like, well, we lived in Danvers and then we lived in South Ham wait, South, South Hamilton. Hamilton. And then we lived in Marblehead, and then we lived in Salem. We lived in Gloucester for a while. Oh, wait, Gloucester? Yeah. Wait, wait, did we live in Gloucester? No, 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 wait, where was the house we lived in for like two months after Scotland? Oh, that was Newport. in Rock, Rock, Rockport. Rockport. Mm -hmm. I um, forgot about that. You said Marblehead, and then Wayland, and then Grafton. Grafton. We were all around, <laughs> and we, those were our old stomping grounds, and we loved it there, but I have to say, we love it in North Carolina. We really do. I think, just as we anticipate <laughs> winter, I'm thankful to be in North Carolina. I, I, I will say, like, snow was magical. Totally. Speaking yeah. of Christmas mugs, like, the, it, a good snow day, yeah. we, we do miss, but... And, like, I would technically enjoy wearing a flannel shirt since it's mid-October, but 85 degrees is pretty cool, too. Yeah, you just gotta wait a little longer, because it yeah. still gets cold. Yeah, totally. So. So, alright, thanks for joining us. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Here, here, here. Put it right here. I'll do a little like ending right. shot. All right. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night, Ollie boy. See you tomorrow. <laughs>